Always wanted to build a realistic B&M invert coaster? Look no further, I got you covered. This type of roller coaster oftentimes works its way around the track through tight helixes and a wide range of inversions. In this episode I will build a B&M invert heavily inspired by the classic Batman clone that are featured in several parks in the US. This B&M prototype was first introduced in the early 90s and was designed to be able to run the train through an action-packed layout yet not taking up too much space. Make sure to always add a transfer track for more realism. This can be done as shown in the video. When building your B&M invert coaster, make sure that the station is elevated from the ground followed by a lift hill with an incline around 30 degrees. This is typically being followed by a banked downward curve, in this case a 180 degree turn. After this, it is only the imagination that sets the boundaries for the design. I chose to include two loops, one zero G roll, one Immerman loop, two corkscrews and even an airtime hill in the middle. In my opinion, the best way to make a smooth and realistic roller coaster in Planet Coaster is to use 6 meter pieces when building the track. When building any invert, put the banking offset to minus 1 or minus 2. Some of it will get smoothed out later. Here's a tip when building your own corkscrews. Use the pre-made corkscrews as a blueprint. Then add your own track in the same place. You then delete the pre-made in-game piece and smooth and autocomplete the rest. When the track layout is complete, select two 6 meter pieces, click smooth all a few times and move the marker to the next pair of 6 meter pieces.
when you are happy with all the banking, the heights of the track, the curves, etc. Select two 6 meter pieces again. This time click delete and then click autocomplete. This way a new piece is generated, 12 meter, which closely resembles how real life track pieces are being manufactured. I always tend to do custom supporting of the track to get the correct supporting for the different coaster elements. To make your life easier, first build the various support pieces that will be used. Then select the support and create a group. This way you can reuse them many times and make minor adjustments for each one of them along the track. And here is how I do custom supporting for the iconic B&M loops. I will now fast forward a bit. On my YouTube channel, I asked you guys for name suggestions for the B&M roller coaster. I received some really good ones, thank you for that. I chose the name The Intimidator, sent in by Chris Hill 2162 Here's the final result, including a POV. Please enjoy. Thank you for sticking around until the end. Until next time, take care.